What's going on guys? Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today we're going to show you how to change out your uh, trimmer racks. If you've got the old green touch racks, pretty much you're going to know how to do it. If you don't have them, then this video is going to show you how I personally installed them on the side of my trailer to where I have no sway. Before we get started in this video, I'd really like to give a huge thank you and shout out to Green Touch for sending me these racks to do a review on for y'all and uh, give you some differences between the new racks and the old racks. Is it worth the upgrade to you? Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out, but I can honestly tell you, farther on in the video, you're gonna find some downfalls with these that I go into and I haven't even used them yet. So let's get started, guys. All right, guys, we got one side on here. Looking good, looking good. So here's what I do, guys. I take a bracket here and I drill two holes into my trailer. Then I take two of these big bolts that go through here and I put them through the bottom part. But this is how I mount it to the side of my trailer. And this eliminates any sway I would ever possibly have so I've got to tighten these up I'll show you the other side we'll do it in real time and uh, show you how easy it is to switch these out with your old ones or I can actually show you an easier way so let's get to this All right, guys so here's an easy suggestion for you I've already got mine mounted to the side so one thing instead of switching out all the hardware is you literally undo these two bolts right here that are going holding this part on and then at the bottom you undo these two big bolts and this whole thing will come off <clears throat> and you can switch it out with your brand new one now that's one suggestion you can do is that and then you just switch it out with your brand new one the end no more bull crap uh, but me I got the new hardware it's easy to put on so I'm just gonna pull all this off and redo it. And uh, that's pretty much it. These are a lot easier. They feel a lot easier. I'm not sure if the springs are as loose or maybe these are as tight, I, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, that's an easy suggestion for you on that. Um, so yeah, let me finish doing this. We'll film it of me switching it out here. <clears throat> Show you how I do it. It's easy, real easy. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is these bolts right here are a 5 eighths on the bottom. I'm literally just gonna undo these first. And I'm gonna pull these nuts completely off of here. Hopefully the wind ain't killing the camera. So that's done. Now then, I've got my handy dandy drill and I'm gonna pull these three bolts out up top here with a 3 8 show you that <clears throat> so now I'm gonna pull these three bolts out with the three eighths so I'm just going to take this and loosen them up here where my handy dandy drill may be able to loosen them. <clears throat> now, 
it'll just come right off once I get these bolts out there we go so now that's done so now I'll take this bottom piece off here I'll take this bottom piece right here off pretty much the same way and then I'll be done. Put my new hardware on. And boom. So with this one, they give you an Allen key. So you're gonna take your Allen key and then you're gonna take your 3 8 stick it on the back side here, put your Allen key in there, and just pull it off. When I put this new hardware on, you'll see exactly how I mounted this to the side of my trailer. Very easy. <clears throat> so then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put these back on here. So I know exactly where they went. Alright, now then. Alright guys, so it comes with these L brackets is what I'm going to call this. And this is just going to go, boom, right there to the side of my trailer. So I'm going to grab these screws I need, self-tapping screws. And then I'm going to grab a couple, one of these. So this is what I used and I just put one of these right here up top and then two of these self tappers in each of these holes. <clears throat> so you want to put it with the long part up, stick your screw through there, washer then your locking nut, <clears throat> grab your Allen key, and these are actually a different size. These are actually a 10 millimeter for some strange obvious reason. I haven't figured that out yet, but whatever. <clears throat> I'll tighten it up like this just to get it tight a little bit. Then I'll put my other two in there with my drill. Other side. Double check them. Now then, I'll tighten this up. Very easy. And boom. Step one, complete. Now you're going to get this bracket. <clears throat> this is the bracket that your long bottom here mounts to. Find the pretty side you want to use. And it's going to go just like this on top of this. <clears throat> and the screws you're going to use for that is these. So you're going to use these and these so these are uh, your washers and locking nuts then you're going to use these 
right here focus I think it's focused not sure anyway <clears throat> and what you're gonna do is just gonna put them on here same thing 10 millimeter put it on Oops. there we go and then you're gonna use a washer and a nut and I start these nothing fancy guys <clears throat> and one more Now I'm going to tighten this with my 10 millimeter and my Allen. my good 10 that's uh, a 6 point not a 12 8 12 points they're good at stripping things get your finger out of the way you just tighten these up I just snug them real good We can mount our top piece here. Our top piece is real easy. It's two self-tapping screws. Get up here and show you all this. Whoop. Bam, right there. All right, so right here, you're gonna take this other one, put it on here, drill you two self-tappers down in there, call it a day. One, two. <clears throat> now my drill seems to be losing a bit of power. So I'm gonna double snug these, make sure they're tight. Now, next step is easy. You wanna get your two big bolts and nuts here that fit on the bottom of your rack get them handy dandy ready we're going to pull this off I don't know if you can see that there we go now we can see it so we're going to pull this off here I didn't have to change out all this hardware but I figured I was going to just to have the new hardware why not all right now we're going to take our handy dandy racks here stick them down in there boom now i'll put this back on <clears throat> and i'm just going to barely tighten this up nothing fancy just going to put it on there get it started and then I'm going to put these bottom bolts in down here and tighten it up easy peasy guys so we got that put that bolt in put this bolt in 
maybe. There we go. Now we'll put our big nuts on here. And lower this camera down some more here so you can see. Shazam. Now we're going to tighten these. Once again, guys, five of eight. There's one. Two. Now we'll tighten this up. Simple as that. Now we'll go back up here and tighten this. I know the wind's probably killing that thing. So I'm just going to tighten them in here a little bit until they start getting a little snug. Then I'll go through and actually tighten them. Just want them to be about the same on both sides. This looks like it's probably going to close all the way for me. So that's good. Tighten these up. And we're done guys now now we're done now all we got to do is put these uh, stands on and we're good we'll try putting a trimmer on there with the old hardware on the trimmer rack see what's going to happen here let's go get one of these and see Go get it. Go get it. Let's see if it'll work with the old blocks. Oh man. There you go guys. It does work with the old blocks. Shazam. Now we put our stands on there and I'll show y'all how to do that because I don't know neither so we'll learn together all right guys so as you can see here's the new uh, mounts for the back of your trimmers your support and basically what it is is it's one of these and it's going to fit over here then you've got a small thing here which I can show you this then you've got one of these pins which is made out of aluminum that slide down in here then you have this block like this slide that on then it comes with these rubber pieces and these rubber pieces have two screws that go with them or two nuts that go down in here and hide and then the bottom of them you can see the nuts here with the washers that's nice i really like that i don't have to worry about them coming undone like i did my last ones so let's get this tightened up see where my actual trimmer is going to be sitting roundabouts and uh we'll do that with y'all here so i've got my allen key here <clears throat> let me get my trimmer on here because i got a feeling i'm going to have some adjusting to do so we're going to put this trimmer in Shazam. All right, trimmer's in. So now we've got this. This is just going to come up. Whoop. Come up, and we can move this just like that. And bam, it's going to sit right back here. 
on the back side of my handle pretty much. That's kind of cool, I guess. We'll tighten this one up. Looks like that's where I'm gonna like it. Up, oh, maybe. It's got a different Allen key. <laughs> sure does. Has a different Allen key. Boy. Alright, so now we got this new Allen key. So we're going to tighten this up. So that'll solve that problem. Put this up, and I always lift my trimmer up just a little bit. So that's where that's going to be. Now I'll try to tighten it a little bit here with it up. And that way it just holds my trimmer. I'm not worried. Tighten these back ones up here. Well, that's the different size one. Just to keep this from moving, since that's where I want this. Looks like I'm gonna get this pretty tight. All right, now then, back to this. Now, of course, after I do this, I'm going to have to move this up some. But that's okay. It's all right, man. It's okay. Actually, looks good there. I'll just keep tightening it right there. Mm, yeah. Put some umph into it, guys. All right, now then, I'm pretty much gonna keep this from vibrating here. And uh, so we're gonna tighten these up and be done with it. Let me get this out of the way. Get my small Allen here, find out what size wrench this is. Very small, so that's okay, we've got a Got a thing. See if that's like a seven or an eight. Looks like an eight. All right. Put my Allen in there and go to town. Same thing with this one. And I'm not gonna tighten them to the brim cause I just want them to be snug. It's just rubber, I'm not trying to kill it. Once I feel it start snugging up there, then I'll quit. Them pretty much ain't going anywhere. So then you're gonna do that with your other two. And then when you put your trimmer in. Put your trimmer in here. Slides on that handle. And uh, yeah, looks good guys. <clears throat> Kinda like it. So that's what you get right there. Now guys, a bunch of people call these engine supports. They didn't make these to be 
actual engine supports they made these to come back and take a bunch of the weight off of back here so they don't bounce and break so as long as you've got support back here from here to here i know on some of the steels how long their part right here goes in this is going to set on that part it's not going to set underneath your engine it's not meant for that this is something that they started uh, they just started calling them engine supports. It's really not an engine support. It's just meant to keep the back part from putting a bunch of strain on it to where your trimmer is going to break. So if this is back here, in between there and there, it's going to take all this weight off pretty much. It's still going to hold up and uh, you'll be fine. I promise you. So there it is installed. I'm going to change these blocks out to the new blocks. But yeah that's it so we'll put the rest of them on here and get them set and then i'll come back and let y'all know let y'all see them anyway all right guys we got it done got all the engine supports on call it engine supports once again it's not an engine support just to support the back half of the trimmers or your edgers so i got them all set looking nice ready to roll so there you go guys that's it it's that simple and it looks real nice pretty impressed so uh yeah there it is that's how i install it all right guys we're going to go over the differences between the old racks and the new racks. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is the color. The color of the new racks are different. The old racks are yellow. Pretty much everything else is the same. The locks changed. We'll go over that in a minute. These supports are now included in the package. So these supports right here, you now get in the package they look a lot nicer uh, they're a lot cleaner I do like these because you can adjust them more these you can adjust left or right they pretty much set under your uh, the back of your trigger or under the uh, this part on the steels but you know what it's not meant to go all the way back at the engine anyway so you ain't really got to worry about that so they're still nice they're still going to do what they're supposed to so one thing I do like is these uh, rubber pieces are now screwed down instead of glued down. As you can tell on the old one, I've lost that. And I also lost this one too. So I've lost two of these. I've only got one left. And uh, where it went, I have no clue. I know I've got one of them. But uh, so pretty much you still got the bolt in the back. So you can change the lockout, pull your lockout. The locking mechanism, still the same nothing changed there so you can still lock unlock the same way everything's pretty pretty simplified guys uh, everything looks pretty much the same uh, it looks like these uh, right here on this this metal part is thicker um, on the the new ones it's a thicker metal so that's going to give you more support as well uh, new paint, so you've got uh, the neonish, I call it a neonish green. So you've got the new paint and uh, the old lock, we'll go over that. The old lock was a key. Um, and honestly guys, I kept mine a key uh, because this new combination lock, show y'all this new combination lock here. So this new combination lock right here, uh, starts with all zeros so then you push in and you pull out and it unlocks well when you unlock it it comes with a key that you stick down in here you change the combination to whatever you'd like and then zoom back on it uh, so you change the combination whatever you like and then you close it you know and then you've got your combination in there now I did that with this lock I've got bad luck with locks, but I did that with this lock. I locked it, unlocked it, made sure it worked a couple times, changed the numbers, locked it up, 
went upstairs, come back downstairs to uh, do this video, and the numbers wouldn't work. So I literally went through every number on this thing, every possible combination, uh, twice. Not just once, but twice. And it never unlocked. So the last thing I want is to be out in the field, this not lock. So then you're gonna have to have a 5 8 wrench. Um, you'll have to pull this boat out of the back, turn this, pull your lock out so you can get through the rest of the day before you know you can replace your lock. So. Anyway, I went ahead, I replaced the lock with the key lock. I don't have a problem with the key lock. Uh, the combination lock, pretty much uh, a no-go for me. So I did change the lock to a key mechanism, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't have a problem losing my keys anyway. So uh, you got the new paint, new three-digit combination lock. If you don't like it, switch it out. Uh, new engine, or... Uh, Keep calling them engine supports even though they're not engine supports uh, but i think on the box it even says the engine supports um, but you also get the supports uh, stands included now huge plus guys huge plus when i bought the old racks you had to buy that so that was a no-go for me now if we go down to this other end here show y'all some differences with that really not much difference show y'all a couple differences like I said, it's really not much. Uh, so, difference here, we'll just pull this back and scoot up here. So, uh, difference number one is going to be they added a cool sticker right here. And it's pretty thick. Uh, real nice. I really like that. It makes it look very, very nice. Um, I'm not worried about the color not matching the green. I really like the green on here. We'll get this uh, old rack here and show y'all what we're talking about. So this is the old one. Guys, I mounted these the exact same way as I mounted the other ones. As you can tell, some of the differences here are going to be this used to be all up and rounded. They made it flat. It's flat, just easy to get in and out. Um, with this, it was you know easier to get in and out because you could just put it in the vicinity and it would slide right in. With this, there is none of that. It's pretty much flat on both sides. So you know, once it's in, it's in. You ain't got to worry about it. But uh, <clears throat> let's see, what else did they change here? Um, it looks like. Uh, you know, of course, they added extra support here. So on this rack, this new rack, get down here and show y'all. Whoop, whoop, there we go. Uh, so on this new rack, as you can tell on the old one, it did not have it. So this, they added extra support. So now you've got boom, boom, extra support down there. That was not on the old racks, as you can tell. Uh, the other side did have it, but this side did not. Um, but now they've got it on both sides for that extra added support and you know guys it's pretty much the same thing uh, different color uh, these blocks right here these aluminum blocks um, are a little bit longer nothing crazy uh, maybe eighth of an inch something like that so I went ahead and switched these blocks out. I'm pretty sure the other blocks up by the handles are the exact same blocks uh, that the old ones had. Nothing there. Guys, still secure as all get out. And uh, show y'all how secure this thing is. The way I mount it anyway. Uh, you know, my trailer moves, not my, not my trimmers. These are fine. They're, you know, plenty of room. They're not gonna bounce. They're not gonna jump. I mean, come on guys, I'm pushing down on that. That's not gonna cause any damage whatsoever to any of my shafts, cause it's still back here holding this support up. So uh, you're good on that. I like it guys, I like it a lot. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, you know, that's that. I hope y'all enjoyed the differences on this. Uh, I'm going to put this right along with my, probably my other video. I don't think I'm going to make this a separate video, but uh, that's it, guys. Once again, I'd like to say 
thank you. Huge shout out to Green Touch for sending me these. Go check them out, guys. Right now, you can get these racks for $229.95 or $230 plus shipping, I believe. And uh, best racks on the market, I guarantee you. And I will tell you why. Most other racks, whenever you go to unlock them, you have to unlock each individual trimmer or whatever you're trying to get to. Guys, with these, you literally unlock this one lock, turn your handle, and you're out. You're ready to go. I don't care what you're, what you're doing, what you're grabbing. Literally, you pull it out. I don't know what happened there. You pull it out, put it back in. There we go. And uh, you're ready to go. So time, time, time. You don't have to piddle with locks on everyone. Uh, some people probably leave theirs unlocked a little bit. I'm not sure. You know what? I'd much rather be able to, to turn it, push it in, lock it, unlock it with one key, pull it out, put it back in, and be gone. Easy as that. So uh, I guarantee you these are probably the best trimmer racks on the market. You ain't going to find nothing that's going to save you so much time. Time is money, guys. And for this price, they'll last you forever probably. Can't beat them. Go check them out, trailerracks.com. They got a two, a three, and a four uh, rack holder. So that's it, guys. We'll see you in the next one.